once you understand as a woman the unique quality your colleague bring to a platform mm -hmm. and you understand your unique quality you can work together without those tensions and i think that is the most important thing that the both of us have come to realize and recognize If you want to see growth in, in, in our world, you need to accept change. Uh, reality is that um, South and East are growing much faster than Occident. And I think our problem is that we continue to try to apply to the world our way of thinking and our way of living. I am not especially in favor of quota, but I think that regarding a very specific situation like uh, how can we find more women to become board, board members, it is very efficient. I believe that diverse teams are inherently more powerful teams, and more powerful teams will be better able to address the problems of growth. And so if we can help women to move faster up the organisation through things like mentoring, role models, training, flexibility in the workplace, all of those things are critical uh, to engendering growth in the organisation. Don't try to compete with men. How can you be a better man than a man? You can't. Uh, and your advantage, if there's an advantage in terms of diversity, comes from being a woman. So never sacrifice that. Africa really needs to determine where the focus should be and I think having the input from the audience and also with the rich experience from the panelists helped throw up some new issues and some new ways of thinking that people should really start having about Africa. We talked about the challenges by, of, of climate change and the fact that these challenges probably are not very well thought through because you know there, there's increasing droughts and floods and the cycles are getting shorter uh, when we have problems and they are at a dimension that we are not really prepared for and so we need more resilient. At least in my business, uh, I know that we have signed contracts because we had a vision about uh, you know, diversity and inclusion, because we have worked very hard, because we have invested in this. I think it's good for companies, it's good for us, it's good for our business. And as long as we realize that and we push that forward, I think we can make progress. China is definitely one of the biggest growing markets and in a few years it's said to be either the second or the largest market in the world. Uh, China needs more female leaders bus in business, in politics, in society as well. I think the master worlds are really keep on being actors, uh, keep on being agents of transformation for our societies and companies and uh, play for innovation, creativity and believe in yourself. <laughs>